Good day and welcome to Asia Military News. Let's begin with the latest developments in Malaysia. Last week, the Langkawi International Maritime and Aerospace Exhibition 2023, or Lima 2023, witnessed a series of significant procurements by the Malaysians. These deals were strategically timed to coincide with the exhibition. The Malaysian government signed contracts with renowned defence suppliers, signalling their commitment to enhancing their military capabilities. Let's take a closer look at these procurements. Firstly, Leonardo secured a contract to provide the Royal Malaysian Air Force with two ATR-72 MPA maritime patrol aircraft. This acquisition demonstrates Malaysia's focus on bolstering its maritime surveillance and defence capabilities. Turkish Aerospace Industries was also awarded a contract for the Anchor Unmanned Aerial System UAS. The Royal Malaysian Air Force will operate this advanced UAS for a range of missions, including intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Furthermore, Malaysia finalized an agreement with a local company to lease four Sikorsky UH-60A Plus Black Hawk utility helicopters. These helicopters will be assigned to the Malaysian Army's Aviation Regiment, further strengthening their operational capabilities. It's important to note that Malaysia's decision to lease the UH-60 Black Hawks is intriguing, as it diverges from the traditional procurement approach. This move follows the Royal Malaysian Navy's recent decision to lease their own helicopters. While the variant of the Anchor UAS has yet to be disclosed, it's worth mentioning that the Anchor system is combat-capable, capable of delivering small munitions and conducting intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance operations. The selection of the ATR-72 MPA is also noteworthy, as the Royal Malaysian Air Force already operates CN-235M 220-based maritime patrol aircraft, which were converted to MPA configuration with the support of US grants. Malaysia's modernization efforts have been a subject of anticipation, with previous announcements outlining their intention to procure these specific weapon systems. With these recent contracts, the Malaysian Armed Forces are set to elevate their capabilities and remain a significant player in the region. That's all for tonight's coverage of the recent Malaysian procurements at Lima 2023. Stay tuned to Asia Military News for the latest updates from around the region. Thank you for watching.